video is titled Solving Linear Equations Kicked Up a Notch because it involves solving linear equations that tend to cause difficulties when students are solving them. Let's do a few examples. In the first equation, we want to solve the equation 3x equals 6x. In order to solve this equation, many students often think they should either divide by 3 on both sides or divide by 6 on both sides. However, you should remember that in order to solve a linear equation, the first thing you should do is gather all the like terms together through addition and subtraction. So I'm first going to subtract 3x on both sides to gather all the x terms together on the right side of the equation. The 3x's cancel out on the left, leaving 0. And on the right, I have 6x minus 3x is 3x. Now I have 0 equals 3x. To isolate x, I divide both sides by 3. And so x equals 0 over 3, or x equals 0. And notice 0 is a solution. 3 times 0 is the same as 6 times 0. In the second example, we want to solve the equation 2 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 6 plus 2x. I first distribute to get 2x plus 6 equals 6 plus 2x. Now you may observe at this point that the left side is the same as the right side. So it doesn't matter which x value I plug in, the left side will always equal the right side. If you didn't observe that at this point, go ahead and keep going. I'm going to bring all my x terms together, so I subtract 2x on both sides, and the x's cancel on the left and the x's cancel on the right. And I see that 6 is equal to 6. Noticing that all the x's have canceled out of my equation. We ask ourselves, when is it true that 6 equals 6? For which x values will 6 equal 6? Well, any x values. No matter what x value you start with and plug into the original equation, it will still be true that 6 equals 6. So any x value you plug into the original equation will equal plugging it in on the right side of the equation. So the solution is all x values our solutions. In fact, the original equation we started with is an identity. All we have is the factored expression on the left and the expanded expression on the right. The left side is always equal to the right side, so all x values are solutions. Example 3. We're going to solve the equation x plus 1 equals x. Again, I want to gather together all my x's on one side of the equation, so I subtract x on both sides, and I have 1 equals 0. All my x's have canceled again, but this time I'm left with an equation that doesn't make any sense. 1 doesn't equal 0, ever. No matter what x I started this equation with, it would never be true that 1 is equal to 0. So no matter what x I start with, if I plug it into the left side, it could never equal the right side. There are no solutions to this equation. There are no x values that will ever make 1 equal 0. I want to solve this equation. I first start by simplifying the left side. Gathering together 2 subtract 7 makes negative 5. And on the right side, I distribute to get 6x plus 3 minus x, and then I simplify on the right side. 6x minus x is 5x. I've simplified the left, I've simplified the right. Now I'm going to gather all of my x terms together, so I subtract 5x on both sides. It cancels on the left, they cancel on the right. So on the left side I have negative 5, and on the right side I have 3, and all my x's have canceled. All the x's have canceled and I'm left with an equation that is never true. Negative 5 is not equal to 3. No matter what x I started with, it will never be true that negative 5 is equal to 3. There are no solutions. There are no x values that will ever make that true.
example 5. I'm going to distribute the 5 to get 4x plus 10 minus 10x. On the right, I gather together my like terms. 8 plus 2 makes 10. I simplify on the left side to gather together like terms. 4x's take away 10x's. It's negative 6x's plus 10 equals 10 minus 7x. Now I want to gather together like terms. I'm going to go ahead and add 7x on both sides. So on the right side, my 7x has canceled, leaving 10. On the left side, I have negative 6x plus 7x makes 1x, or just x. So instead of writing 1x, I'm going to go ahead and write x. x plus 10 is equal to 10. I want to solve for x. I want to isolate x. So I subtract 10 on both sides. Now on the left I have x, and on the right I have 0. x equals 0. The solution is the number x equals 0. That means if I plug 0 into the left side of the original equation, it will equal plugging 0 into the right side of the equation. x equals 0 is the solution. There is one solution, the number 0. Example 6. I'm going to start by distributing and simplifying on the left. So I get 12x minus 18 plus 5x. And on the right I have 17x plus 2. I gather and combine together my like terms. So 12x's plus 5x's makes 17x's. I've simplified on the left and I've simplified on the right. Now I want to gather together my x terms, so I subtract 17x on both sides. So 17x cancels on the left and cancels on the right, leaving negative 18 equals 2. All the x's have canceled. And I'm left with an equation that is not true. Negative 18 is never equal to 2. So there are no x's that I could plug in that would make negative 18 equal 2. So there are no solutions.